What's up guys, my name is Ace, and Season 2 details for Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer have been really sparse, and while they have been giving a lot of updates regarding what's coming with Warzone and DMZ, we really haven't heard much about multiplayer, but yesterday we did get confirmation that one of my favorite Infinity Ward game modes in a Call of Duty game at least is returning in Season 2, and this is Infected. And while this definitely isn't much, and I would have much rather seen a lot more regarding multiplayer, at least it's something. I'm glad they at least mentioned multiplayer. For a while there, it kind of felt like they forgot multiplayer even existed with this game, because everything was all about Warzone and DMZ. So it's nice to see at least some kind of a little teaser for multiplayer. And next week, we will be getting the full details for Season 2. So we'll get the roadmap and a big blog post. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they've been working on for the past couple months with the game. But let's talk a little bit about Infected. So for those that don't know, Infected, it's been around since Modern Warfare 3, I believe, is when it was first officially introduced into the game. And the basic idea is everybody starts off on the same team, and then one person is selected to be the Infected player. And while that Infected player usually gets a gun for the first kill, anything after that, all Infected players will have is a knife and a throwing knife. Whereas all the survivors do have a gun, and when an Infected player kills a survivor, they become Infected and they join the Infected team. Now, I personally really enjoy this mode for its really laid-back nature. It's a great way to have a change of pace in the game. Maybe you want to play the game, but you don't want to be stressed out too much with a really highly competitive environment. Then you can just go to Infected, where it's fun to be a survivor, it's fun to be infected, at least in my opinion. And it's just a great way to sit back and enjoy the game really casually. Now with this, I do have one concern, or maybe this is going to be a teaser for what's coming in Season 2, although I'm kind of doubting it. One key element of the Infected game mode, at least in Infinity Ward Call of Duty games, is the Specialist Strike Package, or the Specialist Bonus, where as you continue earning kills in the same life, you're earning more and more perks until you get your bonus, and then you have like all the perks in the game and you're really powerful. And this works extremely well, especially in Infected, because it encourages you to try to get out there and find the Infected players and kill them, at least early on, so you can get your perks up. And you're going to be rewarded heavily for that. And also, throughout the course of a match, the way the match evolves is the Infected is always going to get stronger and stronger and stronger as they're killing more people, because there's more and more of them. So therefore, the survivors kind of need something to offset that, to make them more and more powerful. If I'm not mistaken, I think Treyarch has tried Infected in the past without this specialist, and it just didn't play nearly as well, because that entire dynamic of making yourself more powerful to match the increasing power of the Infected, it was just gone from it, and it eliminated a lot of the depth. So I really don't know how they're going to be handling it with Modern Warfare 2. Perhaps they can just enable a specialist bonus just for that one specific mode, although that seems a little bit strange, or maybe they'll develop a new sort of specialist style system that just works with Infected. Or perhaps they're going to try to bring specialist into the game in general, although I don't know how they would do it or if it's even viable with the current perk system. I think you would need a full-on perk overhaul in order to have Specialist and make it work properly in the game. So this is definitely something I'm curious to see more information on. I'm really hoping there is some kind of a Specialist bonus or just some kind of a way to make your character more powerful as you're getting kills on infected players. Otherwise, I do fear this mode could end up being a bit of a flop. In either case, I'm sure we're going to learn a whole lot more information on that next week with the blog post. Also, I should point out, they didn't necessarily confirm that Infected is coming with the launch of Season 2, so it may come down the road, or it may come at launch. We don't really know at this point. And now I also wanted to mention Gunfight. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for, asking for, and many people were actually expecting for Season 2. I think some people may have latched onto some untrue leaks or rumors that were being spread a little while back, and then they fully expected Gunfight to come in Season 2. And while before the game launched, Infinity Ward confirmed that Gunfight would come at some point throughout the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2, it isn't going to be coming in Season 2. So we're going to have to continue waiting for that one, which is a bit unfortunate for those that are really into that. And that is going to wrap it up for today's really quick video, and I'm really curious to hear from you guys in the comments section below. First up, what do you guys think about the fact that Infected is returning in Modern Warfare 2, and how do you think they're going to handle Specialist, if at all? And also, what other things are you hoping for or expecting with Season 2 when it comes to Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.